Hey friends, what's up? Kyle's here. Welcome back to another server amateur or bucket spigot plug in tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have suggestions on what you'd like me to do, feel free to comment down below. I'll give you a shout out when I get around to it. This is called Skins Restore by The Troller. This is intended to give your players an option to change their skins to other skins, kind of have that fun back and forth, as well as if you're running an offline server to allow players to set their own skins. It references mcskinsearch.com so any skin that's there you can run that on your server which is pretty fantastic the plugin is real simple but it does one thing very well and in order to give your players access to the skin command you need to give them skins restore dot player commands as you can see on your screen and what that does is it allows them to do skin and set their skin to whatever now uh, you may notice that it did not actually change because you have to reload into the server and then that will change. Now, for everybody else, that change is actually immediate. It's only you and your view. I think eventually it'll update if, if you don't relog, but um, the quickest way is to relog. If you are an admin and you have skinsrestore.cmd, then you can set other players' skins. So we can do set evil doppelganger to, we can set them to myself. And there's that change immediately. Or you can set them to anybody that you can see on that search long time friend uh, you also can do sr reload you can return the properties of that player and see all of the background stuff you can see the textures what user it's referencing that profile you can also drop a skin from the database now i'm not really sure exactly that i'll actually remove it so other players can't use that skin now skins restore also works with bungee cord you have to put the plugin in each one of your servers as well as the bungee cord and then that helps with communicating back and forth also, you can point it at a database, which we'll take a look at here in a second. All right, so here we are in our server. We are running 1.11.2. We're going to jump into the plugins folder. You can see we're running that skins restore. That's the version we're running at the time of this plug this tutorial. We're going to hop in here. We're going to take a look at the config and the messages also want to note that it caches all the skins in the folder so it's easier to pull it up later. All right, I love it when authors add this messages. It allows you to really customize the plugin to your own server, any color codes, maybe change the words or maybe change the language on it, which is really slick. In the configuration, not a whole lot. You can set this to true so that when players join, rejoin your server, it automatically changes their skin back to their default skin. Now, if they're rejoining to get the skin to show up on their view, this will kind of null that. But if you want that, you can turn it on. Also, you can set us cool down for changing skins. You can also set it to a different default skin rather than, than Steve, if for whatever reason it's having trouble pulling up their skin. So you can also disable skins. So if you can, you can set this to true, disable notch on here or high pixel or whoever it is. Uh, you can also enable multi bungee support. And here's the database information. Real quick and easy, let's jump back into the game. Like I said, the, this plugin is real simple but it does it very well hopefully you guys found this video helpful and enjoy this plugin this is cause reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless